year, horse dewormer ivermectin was flying off the shelves at feed stores as folks were using it to try and treat COVID. It was not an approved treatment and many folks ended up getting sick. Now, many on social media say a new pill aimed to treat COVID has the same ingredients as that other drug. Evan Kozloff verifies. Social media could be a rabbit hole of claims and conspiracies, and we know it's not always easy to separate what's real and what's just internet trolling. Take these claims. They popped up after drug company Merck announced a new COVID pill that they're testing. The drug's called Molnupiravir, and some people are claiming that it's just a rebranded version of, you guessed it, Ivermectin. So let's verify, is Merck's new COVID pill, Molnupiravir, the same as Ivermectin? We asked Dr. Ashu Tripathi, an expert in medicinal chemistry at the University of Michigan, and Dr. Namanje Bumpus, the director of the Department of Pharmacology and Molecular Sciences at Johns Hopkins. And right off the bat, they verified that this claim is false. These two drugs are completely different. So we asked our experts how exactly they're different and found at least four ways. Number one, they're chemically different, meaning that the structure of the molecules are not the same. Number two, the organism they attack is different. Ivermectin attacks parasites, while the new Merck drug attacks mRNA viruses. Number three, they attack the organism in a different way, as ivermectin ruptures the cell membrane, which kills the parasite, while molnupiravir corrupts the RNA inside the cell, preventing the virus from replicating effectively. And lastly, number four, the drugs are used to treat two completely different conditions. Ivermectin treats conditions caused by parasites, while molnupiravir is being studied to treat COVID. Right now, there's no evidence that ivermectin actually treats COVID. And if you've heard all of this and you're still not convinced, just know that we're about to get a whole lot more information about this drug. But all of this has to be disclosed and reported in order to get the authorization. So it's really not in the interest of moving this product forward to misrepresent in that way, because certainly any of that would become very obvious. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov. Alrighty, and if there's anything you'd like us to verify, send a message to our email, verify at 12newsnow.com or message us on social media.